social media networks for quite a while now. And we love it that we have so many of you have fans on our Facebook page. It's really a great way to communicate with you outside of the show. And we are very pleased to have Shaney Sammons with us this morning as well on the phone. She is the marketing media specialist for the huge hit group Sugarland. And so she obviously is going to have some great advice for us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So for those who do not understand what social media is, explain to the viewers what you do for Sugarland. Sure. Um, well, you said it right. Sugarland um, obviously is um, a, a huge growing country band, you know, that accomplished a lot over the past, you know, uh, four, five, six years that they've been around. Um, but right now, over the past two years, what I've been doing is developing their social media strategy. They're, and, uh, you know, like I say to a lot of people, it's really their online presence and how they engage, interact, and grow their fan base. So, um, and also, I've been managing their fan club, which is a, a, an extra layer for the uber super fans and sure. keeping them engaged as well because they become your, your advocate, your brand advocate at the end of the day. We know a few of those. One of them, one of them works here. <laughs> um, I, I do want to know, obviously, this technology just keeps changing constantly. Why is it so important in today's age to have this not only for a band but for really your business? Sure. You know, I think, you know, customers as well as fans, um, they want to interact with you as your business in a different way nowadays. They, um, you know, they want to know what's going on with your business or with the band, you know, Sugarland. They want to hear from, you know, obviously Jennifer and Christian are very focused on their fans and they love interacting and, you know, updating the fans. I think when it's how it transitions into a band or translates into a, sorry, a small business or a, a business is that, you know, it allows you to really interact and engage with your with your customers on a daily basis. Um, you can, you know, use the, the use social media from a customer service perspective. You can give coupons out, whatever you want to do. Well, let me ask you this: um, When you started this this uh, the social media part, how have you watched uh, the popularity of Sugarland grow? I understand the fans can talk with one another, but how have you watched the popularity grow? Sure. Well, I think that social media has allow, allowed the popularity of Sugarland to grow from a viral aspect. Um, a lot of, you know, Twitter, Facebook, you know, these larger um, social media platforms, as I call, allow the fans to share. So, you know, um, um, you know, I may share a story about what Sugarland said today, and I share it with my five or six hundred people that I'm friends with on Facebook that have possibly never heard of Sugarland. So, I, I think at the end of the day, you know, it allows the uh, is, it has allowed us to share um, and grow, you know, the awareness of Sugarland from a national perspective, but also from a global perspective. I think, though, Shady, too, there's some maybe some red flags for people out there. They might be nervous about it. How do you know when it's when it's maybe not working? Is this something that you just have to constantly update each day? I mean, if you just have it and you're not doing anything to it, it's not really going to do much good for you, right? Good. I love it. Yes. You know, the thing is, is that, again, as I was saying earlier, I can't say it enough, is that your customers want to hear from you nowadays. I mean, your the transparency is, is has increased for your brand. So I think that, um, you know, you need to be patient with social media. It doesn't grow over, overnight. I mean, you look at, you know, from a Starbucks perspective, they have over, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think it's around 5 million fans on Facebook. You know, you can't be upset if you're, you, if you aren't there in a year or so, but I mean, I'm sorry, in a month or so. But I think what, you know, to be persistent, to constantly update, you know, not up, I'm not, I don't say, I wouldn't suggest uh, or recommend updating, you know, every hour or anything, but daily you need to be engaging with those fans, posting updates, maybe, you know, whatever you want to offer to the customer, contests, whatever you want to do, you know, to constantly engage that customer, but also to allow them to comment about your brand and share that information. I think this is just amazing and interesting information. You know the Facebook, Twitters, and the main ones out there. Do you see some things on the horizon that um, is going to further expand the social media? Well, yeah. Um, you know, Apple just launched the iPad, which is basically, you know,
know, a larger iPhone in a way. Um, I think that's going to allow people to update, um, you know, if they're if they're scared of the smartphones like the iPhones or the Blackberries. I think that's going to allow people to, you know, update things in real time. Um, Google Buzz just came out a few weeks ago. Um, Twitter's going to keep um, expanding. But one that I do want to um, tell all of your your um, viewers and listeners to be on the watch out for, look out for is Foursquare. It's a major um, way to, um, it's location based on your mobile phone. So in a few, you know, in a few months or, or a year from now, you know, your customers will be able to walk into your store and, and say that they were there. And then an hour later, you'll be able to, you know, shoot them a coupon for their next visit to your store. Yeah, so things like that are on the horizon. I think you, people should keep a real heavy watch on. I love that. Is that Foursquare? Is that what that was called, Katie? Yes, Foursquare. Foursquare. Um, okay, we're going to have to check it out. And before we go here, just in case everyone wants to get on and follow Sugarland, all, all they have to do is go to Facebook, right? Facebook, yes, we've got a page. And then we are on Twitter, Sugarland Music. Um, and Jennifer and Christian tweet from there. So you never know what you're going to hear from them. They're fabulous. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate your insight. Thank you. All right, and coming up after the break, we are going to go a little more in-depth about how you can use this for your business.